Hello and welcome to the weather update. It's about 9 o'clock on October 12th, 2019. And it's kind of a muggy night out there after a kind of warm day. Not feeling very much like October at all. It's just, you know, not boding well for the fall foliage. But, uh, you know, it's just the summer. Of the, everything looked very summery. The sky, everything today. But we're supposed to be in fall here. So let's take a look at the current conditions outside right now. And uh, see what's going on out there. So, uh, I don't know. It, According to this, it doesn't look that bad. 59, the dew point 52, but I don't know. It feels worse than that here in Mineola, for whatever reason. Uh, this is Farmingdale. Um, let's go and look a little further east. And uh, it was warmer the further west you went. So 46, wow. Dew point 45 in West Hampton, wow. Which, are, you know, it's much more comfortable out there, for whatever reason. But I think what it is is you have this humid, humid air coming in from the west now. So let's look at JFK. I think you'll see the dew point will be higher there, and that probably would explain. 62, dew point 54. I don't know. It feels humid out there to me uh, when I was out tonight. I don't know. You can tell me what you think. But at JFK, it hit 68. Uh, a lot of clouds around today. Some breaks of sun, especially toward the afternoon. Um, let's uh, take a look at uh, Observer because I bet you it was a lot warmer there. Uh, so 59 to dew point 59. It's much more humid there. Uh, let's see what it got up to 72, and it looks like they had fairly clear skies in Tom's River today. Uh, probably not completely clear. There was probably some high clouds around, but they have some clear skies there. Um, so let's uh, look at the satellite for today and see uh, what things look like right now. And you will see uh, most of those clouds have cleared away, uh, and we're just left with some alto cumulus clouds around. But it's not clear, and like I said, it's not crisp and clear like it should be as we go into October. Um, let's look at the MODIS satellite here for today. And see, uh, take a look at Melissa here. You have two systems here, actually. You have this uh, extra tropical system over here, and then you have Mel well, Melissa, which is a hybrid subtropical storm. It's really looking looking more uh, extra tropical than anything else right now. Uh, not much tropical structure left to it as it's pulling away. Uh, but it did cause a lot of issues with flooding on the south shore. Uh, some people had to be rescued in Sayville again last night. Uh, we'll uh, actually have to look at that. Um, so let me look at that right now, actually. Sayville flood. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Yes, uh, here we go. So 150... I'll put these in the, in the uh, you can look at this, but 150 rescued from floodwaters at wedding spot, uh, wedding party. This was in Sayville. 150 had to be rescued. There was a lot of flooding. There was flooding along Fire Island. Not a lot of stuff being left in the news about this, but there was flooding on Fire Island. There was a lo large amount of coastal flooding from this storm. Uh, and uh, I do not think the Weather Service has issued any public information statements on that flooding. I will take a look right now and see if they have. Uh, if they have issued any public information statements or anything on their Facebook about it, because it was quite a uh, notable uh, thing. So let's see, local storm port, there are none in that. Let's see, maybe we have some public information statements about that. Um, nope, nothing about that either. All right, we'll check Twitter. Uh, you know, I'm as good as my, so, you know, I can't, you know, if there's no, I mean, I've had some pictures shared with me personally of the flooding, but I, I can't really, let's see. Cape Cod has had the most rain in the last five days with over three inches. So Cape Cod got a lot of rain. Let's see. Um, nope. Oh, well. All right. What can I tell you? I'm sorry I can't give you any more information on the flooding that happened on the South Shore. Uh, 50 mile an hour winds. I mean, I'm not going to go read articles, you know. I mean, I'm looking for actual reports from the Weather Service. But I'll, put, I'll link the articles below. So 50 mile an hour winds and a minimum of central pressure 990. It actually is. Now they're calling it a tropical storm. So, you know, this movement is east-northeast to 12 miles an hour. It's very weird. Very weird. So this is now a tropical storm. Uh, it has not lost its tropical characteristics. Uh, it is a tropical storm. And uh, it's moving away from land. So I'm not even going to read the whole advisory here. I'll read a little bit of it here. Uh, and uh, max sustained winds of 50 mile an hour, and it's forecast to become a post-tropical remnant low. But the fact that a, low, a tropical system can form this far north is, you know, kind of unusual, you know, when you think about it, you know. Um, and again, we'll go to the MODIS satellite, and we'll look at this again. 
uh, before we move on to some other things. Uh, and you will see here is, again, actually, no, this one, it does look like a tropical storm. you got to forget about all this here and this one here. You zoom in, you clearly see the tropical circulation right here. So you can clearly see it's tropical. Let me see if we can look at the lightning detection here and see. Uh, this is just unusual, so I want to go ahead and look at the lightning and see if we can, uh, if we see a lot of lightning activity offshore from this. Maybe too far off to be detected. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can see some right here. So that's where the storm system is. That's where the convection is going on uh, in regards to that. Let's look at the one to ground uh, observations here. You'll see it's cooler out east because they, the sun never really came out out east. Uh, so they really stayed in the 60s, whereas the sun came out in Nassau County. So it got close to the 70 in the city and in New Jersey. Uh, the sun came out as well. Um, let's look at those dew points. Because like I said, I was walking out there and it felt kind of muggy. Yeah, the dew points are going up. So it wasn't that muggy earlier. You can see it's a lot. Dry air is over Suffolk. But you can see the humidity is rising over uh, over. Uh, New, uh, Nassau County, New York City, and New Jersey. Uh, so the more the humidity, the winds have shifted to the south, so we're getting it's bringing in more humidity. And the humidity is going up as a result of that. We can look at Ventu Sky as well, and you can also see uh, we can look at the humidity on here as well. And let's see again. Yeah, see that south wind coming up. It's bringing the humidity in, so that's what's going on. If we pull out, you'll be able to see Melissa. Here is Melissa right here. And we can now look at the wind gusts, seeing the wind speed. You can see there it is. The winds have actually weakened, but it's become more tropical in nature. The structure, I guess, has become more tropical in nature, and that's why I'm seeing that. But it is moving away, but not without causing a lot of coastal flooding on the south shore. Um, and actually, I want to go back to the MODIS because I want to look at that again for a moment. I'm looking at it a lot, but uh, you know, it's, it's too far for the floater to really get to. So let's see. So again, this is Melissa, and again, you got to. This is Melissa right here. Not so much of this. This is the extra tropical part of it, but this is Melissa right here. So you can see that little break. Suffolk was in the clouds, and there was some cirrus over New Jersey, uh, but the sun was out over here, so that's why it was warmer. So uh, let's go look at the models and see uh, what's going to be happening as we head into this week. So. That moves away. Melissa moves away. We have this weak high building in for tomorrow. And then another like, weak front that moves through tomorrow night. And then another weak high built in for Monday and Columbus Day. And then we have another chance of rain with ahead of the next cold front. And that would be Wednesday. And then behind that cold front, uh, a stronger, uh, cooler uh, air mass. Because it's, it's definitely way warmer than it should be today. It was way warmer than it should be. So let's uh, look at... Uh, at uh, the temperatures and see how uh, we're going to be doing here with the temperatures because it was it was warmer than it should have been today for sure. Normal high is supposed to be in the mid 60s for this time of the year. So tomorrow it has us in the mid 60s, but it underdid today a little bit, so it's possible it could be closer to 70. Uh, and then uh, oh oh that's that's today that's today. See how off it was today? It's today. I'm sorry. So that's today. 65. No, it was more like 70. So tomorrow. It's probably going to be upper 60s to around 70, a little bit above normal. Monday, we're going to be above normal, 70, probably low 70s, which is above normal for this time of the year. Um, and then Tuesday, cools off a little. We have this extra push coming through, I think, that'll cool us off for Tuesday. And then uh, Wednesday, we see uh, not, it'll be cloudy with the rain, so we're not going to see temperatures going up that high. And then for Thursday, we have a much more of a much nicer cool down with mid 50s. Finally, uh, and upper upper 50s, low 60s. Finally, something more typical for the fall, because uh, this is the problem. We can't we don't have enough cool weather in the fall, and the leaves don't change. Uh, and then it warms up a little more by the weekend, and a lot more perhaps by next Monday. We're back up into the low 70s before another front comes through and cools us off again. So. Um, it, there are, is, uh, you know, there are some cooler air masses in here. We're just going to have to deal with a little warmth before we get to them. Uh, let's look at the dew points. All right, so you'll see that increasing humidity. So, again, this is really off with the dew points. This is really off with it. This is terribly off with the dew points. 
it's much more humid than that. So I, you know, I can't even use that except for the long range. I'll just show you the longer range uh, as we go into next week on this, and then I'm going to flip it over to the NAM. Well, Tuesday, uh, we see the dew points drop. They come back up again on Wednesday with the rain, and you can see that low, and then we have much, much nicer weather Thursday into Friday uh, with uh, drier and cooler conditions. So now I'll go to the NAM. Because this model is way off with the dew points. Way off with the dew points. It's ridiculous. Let's see if the NAM, yeah, see the lighter yellows moving into our area? That's the increase in humidity we're getting. However, I think tomorrow, let's see what happens here. It does drop the dew points down by the afternoon. Wind goes back to north. With this little weak front moving through. Uh, and then the, humidity, the dew points come back up again ahead of the next cold front. And then they drop again a little bit on Monday. Uh, so that will bring some some relief from it. It won't be that bad. It's just you know you know, you don't like you know you don't want to deal with humidity anymore. You know what I'm saying? You just don't want to deal with it. So let's look at the uh, clouds and see uh, if we can get some clear skies in here. So uh, here is uh, tomorrow as we go tomorrow. Night. It doesn't look like it. Plenty of clouds around tomorrow. Took a lot of high clouds. It won't be that clear. Uh, and then Monday, if we can push these clouds out. Maybe by the afternoon, especially by the afternoon, we might see some clear skies. It might be actually wind up being a nice day. Uh, though it will be a little warm, obviously, with temperatures near 70. And uh, the dew points will be, at least the dew points will be low. So um, let's go and look, uh, switch it back to the clouds and look at the GFS now and see if we can get some more clear sky here. So. And GFS agrees. Tomorrow's going to have a lot of high clouds around. It won't be that clear. But Monday could be nice by the afternoon. Tuesday, uh, we'll probably have some high clouds around. Maybe they break up in the afternoon. Maybe not. And plenty of clouds for Wednesday. And Thursday, uh, we should have some clear skies, but there might be some instability cloudiness behind that system. And then for Friday, we're more likely to have some more clear skies, especially over New Jersey. Uh, and, uh, and then it's next weekend, which I'm not even going to get into. Uh, so, I'm going to see if we can go to Twitter here and see if we can find out anything about uh, the flooding there and save it, just to get some pictures, because I want to show you this before I wrap up this weather update. So, let's uh, go to the National Weather Service on here, and I'll put uh, Long Island flooding or something like that. Long Island. Nope, that's not what I want. I don't know why I pulled that up. Long Island flooding. Arista brings worst flooding since Superstorm Sandy. So according to that, here you go. Worst since Sandy. So you do have some articles. I'll put them. I'll link all the articles below. You can see the flooding there. Flooding leads to evacuations. So uh, some of this I already put up already. But th here is uh, some. You know this is a significant. It's, this is this storm didn't even hit us. It didn't. Even, it was offshore the whole time. Uh, and look at the, let's just look at what the flooding is going. It's only going to get worse. Uh, and we've got to start waking up and realizing that. I have seven new results now uh, here. Uh, here's another picture. Um, but we've got to start realizing that. We've got to start investing in the middle of the island. The south shore is flooding. Sure, up by sunrise will probably be okay for now. But when the big storm comes, it's going to get to sunrise too. Uh, and, you know, we've got to move past this petty, petty stuff. Uh, anyway, that's a whole other topic. This is a weather update. So I guess that'll wrap up this weather update. Uh, we'll just look at the radar. Oh, yeah. See, I forgot one other thing. When I went to, middle, when I went to look at the miles, I was like, oh, yeah, we have chances of rain. i got to look at that. Almost forgot about that. So we go back, and we'll take a look at our chances for rain, because we do have a chance of rain tomorrow night. So I'll go to the NAM, and we'll uh, take a look at the chance of rain uh, that we might have for tomorrow night. All right, so... Of this front moving through that may bring a slight chance of rain for Long Island. Looks like a bigger chance of rain for maybe New Jersey. Uh, could be some heavier rain over there, perhaps. Uh, so uh, probably not going to get that much rain from it. I'll uh, take a look at the NAM and we'll see what the total accumulated precip is. And then that'll bring this weather update to an end. So not that much, but it's possible. The Jersey Shore might get close to an inch of rain, perhaps. So that will wrap up this weather update. Take care, and thank you for watching.